Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in for the first time and you can click the link in the upper right hand corner for all of my past Tacky Tuesdays. Basically, we try to go over every week a different EMS cardiology lesson and this week we're going to be going over the Osborne wave. The Osborne wave, also referred to as the J or the K or the H wave, sometimes even referred to as the camel's hump. It's a type of positive deflection at the J point of an EKG, and it typically shows in the inferior, anterior, and lateral leads. It is a rare wave and has various causes, but the most common cause it's associated with is hypothermia. Okay, let's talk about some of the various causes of Osborne waves. Obviously, hypothermia, like we mentioned earlier, also are patients with Brugge syndrome, certain medications, or if the patient is under the influence of certain drugs, hypercalcemia, early repolarization of the heart, neurological injuries like severe head injuries, subarachnoid hemorrhage, even intracranial hypertension can cause Osborne waves, a heart injury like MI, um, ischemia of the heart, and also sepsis. So what do we as EMS providers in the 911 EMS setting do to treat J waves? So EMS cannot actually treat J waves. We can be aware of them and their possible causes, and then we can also report our findings to the receiving facility. Some of the things that we can do in the back of the ambulance, obviously, is a 12 lead, oxygen, IV access, and we always want to treat our patient and their complaint. So if we have a feeling that this certain wave is coming from hypothermia, the obvious thing to do would be to warm our patient up. That's really the only thing that we can do to treat J waves if we even notice them on the 12 lead, which I hope we do, especially after watching this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.